All right, people have been clamoring for my top five Golden Girls moments. Everyone knows I love the Golden Girls. Yes, I do believe that Seinfeld is the greatest sitcom of all time, but Golden Girls is right up in that top five and just was formative for so much of my comedy and everything else. I even have a Golden Girls mug, my God. So here are Dave Rubin's top five Golden Girls moments. For this man, he says you seriously dated. I mean, how many boyfriends could a naive farmer's daughter possibly have had? <laughs> Two, three? <laughs> well, it depends. What's your definition of a boyfriend? Any man you bring to a fevered pitch of uncontrollable ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, the colors, the hair. 56. <laughs> Excuse me? I had about 56 boyfriends. Of course, that was before I knew Charlie. So that's Betty White. I probably Everyone would have had Betty more, White? but I wasn't allowed to start dating till I was a senior. 56. 56? Oh, God, stand Ooh, back. Hand. She's going to blow. What that's do you mean? 56 boyfriends. You told me you were a virgin till you got married. Hey, you can have a boyfriend without having to go all the way. You cannot. You cannot. <laughs> If that were true, Rose, that would mean you were a slut. Oh, come on, Blanche, how can you say that? So the woman had 56 boyfriends in one year. She's not a slut. Thank you, Dorothy. Oh, she is the slut. <laughs> She's the grand poobah of slut. <laughs> she is the easiest woman in this room. <laughs> Dorothy Spornak, you take that back. <laughs> The slut is dead, long live, long the, live slut. the slut. Blanche just wanted to be the number one slut, and her initials were bed, Blanche Elizabeth Devereaux. All right, here's my number four favorite Golden Girls moment. Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Miami. Today, women who live together. Does society make it tougher? We'll find out when we talk to four lesbians today <laughs> on Wake Up Miami. Rose, could I see you for a moment? So Rose accidentally booked them on this show. You're mad, aren't you? Rosen Island, every man I know is watching this show. This live show. This live show about lesbian lovers of Miami. <laughs> every man you know is watching? Hey, we could beat the prices right. <laughs> Rose, we can't kill you here because there are cameras. Now, how did this happen? Oh, I don't know. They just said they wanted two women who loved each other and slept together. We do not sleep together. Yes, you did. Last month, when, when Blanche was having her room repainted because the plaster behind her headboard all fell out. <laughs> We're back in 30 seconds, ladies. Listen, I'm not going to do this. Blanche, if you leave, they'll fire me. Good. <laughs> My mother is here. My teacher is here. Good. If I lose my job, I won't be able to do anything but sit home and tell St. Olaf stories. Blackmail. Oh, very smart. Hey, they don't call me Harold Goldstein for nothing. Maybe if we don't say anything, we're not on camera that much. I mean, we can't let Rose lose her job. We're back. Let's meet our panelists. Dorothy, a lesbian. <laughs> Blanche, another lesbian. <laughs> funny about the word lesbian. And Pat and Kathy, image, image consultants. consultants. How come they're not lesbians? We don't believe in labels. <laughs> I see we have a question from the audience. The head of the teachers union. Yes, sir. Are there male-female roles in the relationship? <laughs> well, I am 
the little homemaker, if that's what you mean. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Just let... <laughs> And I take out the garbage. <laughs> Fascinating, huh? Any other questions? Ah, here we go. This is directed to Dorothy's lover. <laughs> Do people treat you differently because you're a lesbian? Oh, well, most people don't know. <laughs> really? I would have guessed right off. <laughs> Next question to Dorothy. What kind of pain and embarrassment has this lifestyle caused your mother? I really don't know, but I'll ask her tomorrow when I visit her at the home. <laughs> Just so great, the voice, the home. Oh, the face, look at the look. No more questions. All right, this is my number three favorite Golden Girls moment. This one is kind of quick. This is from season seven, and it's just a bang, bang comedy moment. Go. Good morning, Dorothy. Don't start, Rose, okay? I'm sorry. That good morning crack was way out of line. <laughs> oh, no, it's me. I was up all night thinking of how Ma's been hoarding all those checks from Phil and Gloria while I've had to go without. Well, now, Dorothy, you really can't blame Sophia for your sex life. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. But since you brought it up, yes, I can. If I'd had the money, I could have been living in a swinging condo instead of with... I better not say anything till I've had my coffee. <laughs> A slut and a moron. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I'm sorry, it must be decaf. Must be decaf. Oh. Perfect, perfect. All right, my number two favorite Golden Girls moment. This is actually the last three minutes, the final scene of the season finale of the Golden Girls, and you're gonna see comedy legend, Naked Guns, Leslie Nielsen, who came in to play Blanche's uh, Uncle Lucas, who eventually marries Dorothy and takes her away. And our son Luke is partly named after Uncle Lucas. Watch this. I'll be out in just a minute. Okay. Well. Well. I remember seeing this live in 92. Yeah. Like 15 or 16. I guess this is it. Right. Listen. Dorothy, you don't have to say anything. I mean, what can you say about seven years of fights and laughter, secrets, cheesecake? Yeah. Just that uh, it's been very... Um, well, it's been an experience that I'll always keep very close to my heart. Yeah, she was good. And that these are memories that I'll wrap myself in when the world gets cold and I forget that there are people who are warm and loving and... We love you, too. <laughs> oh. Oh. I miss you. I miss you. You will always be a part of us. Uh, your friendship was something I never expected at this point in my life. And I could never have asked for a better surprise. <laughs> That's how we feel, too. I have to go. Dorothy, is this goodbye? I love you. Always. Oh, God, I love you. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, Dorothy. Oh, Lucas is waiting. I have that same jacket. Your that angels. All of them. Into the winners! Oh, Dorothy! Dorothy! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 
Listen, no, we have a flight. Yeah. I... <laughs> You'll always be my sisters. Always. see some real tears coming in, in Betty White's eyes if you watch closely. And that's how it ended. I always wanted Dorothy to run back in from the kitchen or from off stage, but that's how the show ended. And then they had one more season of a show called Golden Palace where they sold the house and started managing a hotel. And uh, it was, as I heard one of the creators of the show say, I saw some thing at USC once where they had a whole bunch of them and Betty White there. He said it was a fakakta show that failed after one season. All right, and this is my all time favorite Golden Girls moment. This is number one. And this is an episode where Blanche's brother, Clayton from the Old South, in a previous episode, he had come out, he says to her that he uh, that he's gay, and now she, he's gonna get married to Doug. Now this is 1991, NBC primetime, nine o'clock, gay marriage obviously was not legal, they didn't get into any of that, they just tell you what's happening here and the stories about acceptance and love and all of that stuff, but listen to the subversive joke here, there's just so much, there's like truth, and uh, it's just great, watch. Dorothy, that's different, we're talking about going out in public. Oh, what are people gonna say? Probably nothing we haven't heard before. Oh, Clay, I was just telling the girls. We heard what you were telling them, Blanche, and I am truly sorry you feel that way. Will you tell me why you want to put yourself and Doug through this? You know how people can be. And if my own sister can't accept our relationship, what chance would I have with anyone else, right? Right. No. <laughs> no, what I, what I mean. No, we get what you mean. Blanche, we don't have to worry about what the world thinks about our relationship. It just doesn't matter because we're there for each other. I'd do anything for Doug. And he'd bend over backwards for me. <laughs> Sometimes I just love to hug my mommy. <laughs> just great, just great. And those, ladies and gentlemen, are Dave Rubin's long sought after five favorite Golden Girls moments.